Hi, Doug Stuman with IT Creations with another edition of Dell's FX2 Shared Infrastructure Platform. Today we'll be looking at the half-width FM120X4 Compute Node designed for the FX2 enclosure without embedded PCIe module slots. The FM120X4 offers a lower cost alternative than some of the other Compute modules supported on the FX2 chassis. If you're not familiar with the 2U FX2 enclosure, click this link for a quick rundown describing the impressive features and rack density available on this system. Each FM120X4 Compute module supports four microservers powered by a single C2000 Atom processor with two, four, or eight cores for a total of four Atom CPUs in each module. With four FM120X4 modules loaded into the FX2 chassis, that's 16 microprocessors total and up to 128 cores per 2U chassis. A network interface controller is conveniently integrated on a chip. The ultra-dense system-on-a-chip design is a perfect match for supporting large-scale static web hosting, lightweight analytics processing, and other common business applications. With the efficiency of a blade enclosure and a 2U rack server, the system is also a great choice for data centers which can scale easily and efficiently by adding additional compute nodes or fully loaded FX2 enclosures. Each of the Atom processors supports two DIMMs for a total of eight DIMM modules per sled and 32 DIMMs total with four sleds installed in the FX2 chassis. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that for a limited time, you can save up to $150 off the purchase of a Dell FX2 converged infrastructure system, storage, or compute modules valued at $1,500 or more. If you're still shopping, click any of these links to see pricing and knock $150 off the purchase price. We have all these systems in stock. Just give us a call and mention this video to save. And now, back to the review. Each of the Atom processors supports two DIMMs for a total of eight DIMM modules per sled and 32 DIMMs total with four sleds installed in the FX2 chassis. The system only supports four or eight gigabyte DDR3 UDIMs, which again offer cost benefits when compared to the DDR4 registered and load reduced modules supported on the other compute modules. Memory modules must be of the same type and capacity for each node and should have at least one memory module installed per node. Each sled supports either four warm swap 2.5 inch SATA hard disks or solid state drives, or eight hot swap 1.8 inch USATA SSDs. Basically that's one or two HDs per atom processor and each hard drive is assigned to a specific node. The FM120X4 is only compatible with software RAID supported by the OS. A Matrox G200 video chip is integrated with the iDRAC module, which also offers 8 megabyte shared memory. An integrated 1 gigabit Ethernet NIC is embedded on the chip. There are four different networking configurations to choose from. One configuration has each of the four nodes on a single sled automatically mapped to a single port on the pass-through module. Two different pass-through modules are supported on the FX2. A 1 gigabit with 8 RJ45 ports, or 10 gigabit with 8 SFP ports. The pass-through modules are housed in the back of the FX2 chassis below the CMC module, just like the aggregator modules used with the other compute modules. Management of the FM120X4 is handled by the Dell OpenManage portfolio, including iDRAC 8 with lifecycle controller and the chassis management controller, which is found on every FX2 chassis. The CMC can manage the microservers independently or collectively by accessing a standard browser. Both CMC and iDRAC are available in either Express or Enterprise licensing, depending on your management needs. The system also supports all the standard operating systems in addition to optional supported hypervisors. We hope you enjoyed our short review of the FM120X4 server blade for the FX2 Converged Infrastructure Platform. If you're not familiar with the FX2 or FX2S Converged Infrastructure Platforms, click this link to see a review we did a few months back. You can also brush up on some of the other compute nodes we've already reviewed. If you'd like more information on this server or any others, post a comment below, give us a call, or visit our website if you're interested in pricing. Like, share, and subscribe. I'm Doug Stuman, and thanks for watching.